Jason Voorhees is one of the most iconic and terrifying horror villains in cinematic history, with a legacy that spans over four decades. Born in 1946, Jason was the son of Pamela Voorhees, a woman who would become infamous for her own brutal and tragic fate. This biography will delve into the life of Jason Voorhees, from his birth to his transformation into the infamous killing machine that has haunted Camp Crystal Lake and terrorized generations of campers. Early life, Jason was born on June 13, 1946, at Camp Crystal Lake, a summer camp located in the heart of the Hudson Valley, New York. His mother, Pamela Voorhees, was a counselor at the camp, and his father's identity remains a mystery. Pamela was a devoted mother and spent most of her time caring for Jason, who was born with a cognitive impairment. Despite the challenges she faced, Pamela loved Jason dearly and did everything in her power to provide for him. Tragic events. In 1957, a series of tragic events unfolded that would forever change the course of Jason's life. A group of counselors at Camp Crystal Lake were careless and reckless, ignoring the camp's strict rules and allowing children to enter the water. Tragedy struck when a young boy named Jimmy was accidentally drowned in the lake. Pamela, who was devastated by the event, became fixated on the camp and began to believe that it was cursed. Pamela's descent into madness. As the years went by, Pamela's obsession with the camp grew stronger. She became increasingly isolated and withdrawn, spending most of her time alone in the woods, searching for answers. Her fixation on the camp and the tragic events that occurred there consumed her, driving her to the brink of madness. The murder of Alice Hardy. In 1958, a group of campers, including Alice Hardy, a young girl who would later become a central figure in the Friday the 13th franchise, arrived at Camp Crystal Lake. Pamela, who was still grieving the loss of her son, became convinced that Alice was the reincarnation of Jimmy, the boy who had drowned in the lake. In a fit of rage and madness, Pamela attacked Alice, beheading her with a machete. The aftermath, as Pamela languished in an institution, Jason was left to fend for himself. He grew up in the woods, surrounded by the eerie atmosphere of Camp Crystal Lake. Without proper care or guidance, Jason's cognitive impairment worsened, and he became increasingly aggressive and isolated. The first killing spree. In the early 1960s, a group of teenagers decided to explore the abandoned Camp Crystal Lake, unaware of the horror that lay within. Jason, now a teenager himself, was drawn to the group and began to stalk them. In a fit of rage, he killed several of the teenagers, marking the beginning of his infamous killing spree. The death of Pamela Voorhees, years passed, and Pamela's condition only worsened. She became increasingly paranoid and delusional, convinced that Jason was still alive and out to get her. One fateful night, Pamela escaped from the institution and made her way back to Camp Crystal Lake, seeking revenge on her son. However, Jason was waiting for her. In a twisted irony, Pamela was beheaded by her own son, Jason Voorhees, in 1979. Rise to infamy. The brutal murder of Pamela Voorhees sent shockwebs through the community. As news of the tragedy spread, Jason's reputation as a killer grew, and he became a legendary figure in the horror world. The events of that fateful night would be the catalyst for a series of gruesome murders, as Jason continued to stalk and slaughter anyone who dared to enter Camp Crystal Lake. The first film, in 1980, a group of filmmakers arrived at Camp Crystal Lake, seeking to make a documentary about the camp's dark past. Unbeknownst to them, Jason was still lurking in the woods, waiting for his next victims. The film, Friday the 13th, would go on to become a huge success, introducing the world to Jason Voorhees, the iconic horror villain. The killing spree continues. Over the next several years, Jason continued to murder anyone who entered Camp Crystal Lake. His victims included campers, counselors, and even a few brave souls who dared to challenge him. Jason's modus operandi remained the same. He would stalk his prey, using his intelligence and cunning to outmaneuver them. 
before striking with brutal efficiency. The mask, the mask, a hockey goalie mask, became an integral part of Jason's character, and it has been a staple of his image ever since. The mask not only added to Jason's intimidation factor, but also served as a symbol of his connection to the camp and the legend of Crystal Lake. The death of Tommy Jarvis. In the 1986 film, Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives, Jason's reign of terror seemed to come to an end when he was killed by Tommy Jarvis, a young boy who had been traumatized by Jason's previous murders. However, in a twist of fate, Jason's body was thrown into the lake, and the lightning bolt struck him, reviving him. The undying Jason, from that moment on, Jason became virtually indestructible. He continued to haunt Camp Crystal Lake, and his legend grew, as did his ability to cheat death. The films that followed would explore the mythology of Jason's immortality, delving into the mysteries of Crystal Lake and the curse that had been placed upon him. The Freddy Krueger connection, in the 1989 film, Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason takes Manhattan, Jason's popularity reached new heights. The film introduced a new villain, Freddy Krueger, the infamous dream demon from the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. The two villains clashed in a battle of wits, with Jason emerging victorious. The final reckoning, in the 2001 film It and X, Jason found himself transported to the year 2455, where he clashed with a group of space explorers. The film marked a new direction for the franchise, as Jason was pitted against a group of futuristic foes. The legacy, Jason Voorhees has become an iconic figure in popular culture, with his image and character appearing in numerous films, television shows, and other forms of media. His legend has been cemented as one of the most enduring and terrifying horror villains of all time. The Jason Voorhees phenomenon, Jason's impact on popular culture, cannot be overstated. He has inspired countless fans, and his image has been parodied and homaged in countless forms of media. From music to film, Jason's influence can be seen in a wide range of creative works. The future. As the franchise continues to evolve, Jason's legacy remains as strong as ever. New films and television shows are being produced, exploring new angles and interpretations of the character. Jason's iconic image and reputation as a horror villain continue to captivate audiences worldwide. The Jason Voorhees mythology, the Friday the 13th franchise, has created a rich and complex mythology surrounding Jason Voorhees. The character's backstory, motivations, and abilities have been explored in depth, adding depth and complexity to his legend. The mythology of Jason Voorhees is a testament to the enduring power of horror as a genre. The impact on horror. Jason Voorhees has had a profound impact on the horror genre as a whole. His iconic image and character have influenced countless other horror villains, and his legacy can be seen in films, television shows, and other forms of media. Jason's influence on popular culture is undeniable, and his impact on the horror genre will be felt for generations to come. The evolution of Jason throughout the franchise Jason's character has undergone significant changes, from his early days as a gentle giant to his transformation into a cold-blooded killer. Jason's character has evolved in response to the changing landscape of horror. The evolution of Jason's character is a testament to the adaptability of the franchise and its ability to reinvent itself. The legacy of Jason Voorhees. Jason Voorhees is a cultural icon and his legacy will be remembered for years to come. His impact on popular culture, horror, and the world of entertainment is undeniable. As a symbol of horror and terror, Jason Voorhees will continue to captivate audiences, inspiring new generations of horror fans and filmmakers. In conclusion, Jason Voorhees is a legendary horror villain, and his impact on popular culture is immeasurable. From his humble beginnings as a gentle giant to his transformation into a cold-blooded killer, Jason's character has captivated audiences worldwide. His legacy will continue to be felt for generations to come, and his iconic image will remain a symbol of horror and terror for years to come. And that's a wrap, folks.
I hope you enjoyed this in-depth biography of Jason Voorhees, the iconic horror villain from the Friday the 13th franchise, as a small token of appreciation. I'd like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all our latest content. But that's not all. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Who would you like to see next in our biography series? Would you like to learn more about another horror villain? A historical figure? Or perhaps a celebrity? Let us know your thoughts, and we'll do our best to make it happen. And if you're feeling extra creative, feel free to suggest a topic or character in the comments, and we might just feature it in a future video. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you all in the next video.